So last time around, the Tillerson 225 with the Paul's cart, small chamber, big bow head, and a Paul's cart cam did 68.52 miles per hour, and I think 4.12, zero to 30. So this time around, to see if I can beat those times, I'm gonna add some 1.2 rev ratio rockers and a 28 millimeter D-slide carb. So last time around, the bike had a 4.46 ratio, 15 on the clutch and 67 on the rear sprocket. So I'm gonna install these 1.2 ratio rev rockers with these 5.110 NR Racing chrome molly push rods. So hopefully that'll wake it up. So I'm gonna install the ratio rockers. And then I'll set the lash on these. So I'm gonna run this combo with the 1.2 ratio rockers, zero to 30 in top speed. Then I'll throw the 28 millimeter on there and we'll see what it does. Zero to 30, 1.2 ratio rockers. Well, that seemed pretty quick, especially the way the clutch is set up. All right, a 4.23. Let me try that again. Second attempt, zero to 30, 1.2 ratio rockers. All right, let's see what it did. A 4.40, so definitely not any quicker with the 1.2s. So we'll go see if it gains any top speed. Okay, top speed run, 1.2 ratio rockers. So the bike wasn't quite as quick, but it gained top speed. So with the one to one ratio rockers, we did 4.12, zero to 30 and 68.62. Then I added the 1.2s and we went 4.23. So we lost about a 10th from zero to 30. And then we gained some top speed, 69.74. So now I'll rejet the 28 millimeter D slide. We'll throw that on there and see what it does. This carb has a 110 in it right now and i think i'm going to go ahead and throw a 125 in it or so maybe a 120 125 up here at 3700 feet i'll start out with that and see how that goes i think the flashlight had a 120 in it so i think i'll go ahead and put a 120 in this right now we'll see what happens because it does have that power valve that you can add fuel at the top anyway 
Alright, so we'll see if a 120 is big enough. I think it might be. Okay, so there we go. 28 millimeter carb with a 120 main and a 38 pilot. We'll see how that works out. Swap these carbs out. Off with the old, on with the new. Put this velocity stack on here, since I don't have an air filter for it. That'll work for right now. I mean, it might suck in a rock or a bee or something, but that'd be okay. Drop this slide down in here. Got the 28 millimeter on there. Let's go test it out. See what it did for the first 030. A 4.28. So it's still like a tenth off. Let me see if I can back that up. Okay, 0 to 30. Alright, now do now do top speed. Top speed run. 28 millimeter car. See what it did for top speed. Did a top speed of 69.67. So we're pretty much splitting hairs with this combo now. The 0 to 30 and top speed times were pretty much identical. So with the pulse card head cam and 24 millimeter carb, we did 4.23 0 to 30 and 69.74. And then I added the 28 millimeter carb and we did 4.25. I mean, virtually identical 0 to 30 times and pretty much identical top speed times. We did 69.67 this time around. Last time around we did 69.74. So I think next time around I'll add the methanol carb and that way I can compare gas directly to methanol or M5 with this combo. And then after that I'll go ahead and add the 58 millimeter stroker kit to come up with the 236 and then I'll test everything again. 